This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Hilder, it's Jeff Cardone, and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. And on this day, March 9th, one of the greatest college basketball games ever to happen, happened in 1974 on March the 9th. And no, it was not Notre Dame's victory over UCLA, which broke UCLA's 88-game winning streak. That was in January. I'm talking about NC State, Maryland, and the ACC Championship in 1974. A lot of you would probably say, what the heck are you talking about, Cutter? Well, simple. Now, the NC State team did win the NCAA title. Spoiler alert. But they won the ACC tournament and the ACC regular season. All that. They had a good season and all that. Their only loss was to... Obviously, UCLA, who beat NC State by 18 points in St. Louis in December 73. However, NC State had some great teams. They had a star forward, David Thompson, who would be a star in the ABA. A power and center in Tom Burleson, 7'4", who actually played in the 72 Olympics. A great point guard in Monty Tao. And some great complimentary players like Bill Spence. NC State looked good. They started off 12 and 0. They were 12 and 0 in the ACC and won the term, ACC tournament. In only their third game, they took on UCLA. After that loss, they riled up 28 straight wins, including two ACC tournament wins: March 8th against Virginia, which they beat by 21, and against Maryland and all that. So the NC State team looked very good and all that. So the 74 ACC men's tournament happened. There would be six teams in the brackets. Whoever won, whoever, well, won the three, Number one, NC State was given a bye because they won the ACC thing. They would take on the lowest ranked, the lowest competitor still left. And it was Virginia. As number four, Virginia took care of Clemson 68-63. Number four, Maryland, number four in the world. Uh, Maryland took down Duke and, NC, and North Carolina took down Wake Forest. So basically no major upsets. In the second semifinal, in the in the semifinals, NC State beat Virginia by 21, like I said. And Maryland, the number four team in the nation, beat the number six team in the nation, North Carolina, by 20. But NC State's huge win over Maryland will not be forgotten. The big match between NC State and Maryland set the precedence. Maryland had six future NBA picks, and it was considered the greatest team that did not participate in the NCAA tournament. And a lot of people said this was the game of the century until Dukes went over Kentucky in the East Regional Final in 92. And all that. So yeah, so basically the, it was an overtime match that was huge. It was really huge. Who knew? So that 103-100 game between NC State and Maryland was a clash of the titans. Basically, Tom McMillan versus um, Tom McMillan versus Tom Burleson. NC State, in addition to having Burleson, David Thompson, Monty Till, and Phil Spence, had a guy by the name of Tim Stoddard. Baseball fans will know who Tim Stoddard is because he was part of the 84 Padres team that went to the World Series and he was a baseball pitcher. So anyway, they were one of the best teams in the world. Now, unfortunately, in 1974, at that time, it was basically one team per conference. Basically, you win your... Um, your conference tournament, you're basically in and all that. Yeah. 
So the big NC State Maryland game was so high pressed. And the worst part is that only the best team could get out of the ACC. Maryland had to sit on the sidelines of North Carolina, who also was in the top 10, headed into the ACC tournament, had to um, sit out and all that. So, yeah. It was just me. It was just unbelievable and all that. Made the team look good. And then they and then they got into the NCAA tournament in 1974. In the East region, they took care they were they waited for the winner of Providence versus Penn. They got a bye into the second round. So in the East Regional semifinals, they took on Providence and beat them by 14, and then beat Pittsburgh by 28. Similarly, they had the East Regional third place game. Why? In the Mid East Region, Marquette got out of there, got to the Final Four by beating Michigan narrowly. In the Midwest, it was Kansas beating Oral Roberts in overtime. And in the West, it was UCLA easily getting through. They beat Dayton by 11, and they crushed San Fran by 23. In the Final Four, NC State would take on UCLA in the first semifinal. And, man, it was epic. Just as epic as the NC State-Maryland ACC title game. NC State would go on to win a double overtime, 80-77, to knocking off UCLA and ensuring for the first time in eight years there would be a NCAA champion not named UCLA. Marquette would take down Kansas in the other semifinal. UCLA did take third place from Kansas, but it doesn't freaking matter. As NC State crushed Marquette into fine powder by 12 points to win the national championship. Basically put, the 19, that 1974 UCLA, I mean, NC State, Maryland Gate was instrumental in the NCAA changing their, their minds about conference champions and independents could participate in the tournament. They decided in 1975 to expand the field to have at-large bids for conference runners-up. So basically, Maryland would have got into the tournament if they went with that format. But it, it was terrible and all that. That they would go that route in the first place. So yeah, college basketball is huge. And with the 2021 tournament just more than a week away, I mean, it was obviously time to do an NCAA thing. And, you know, this was a this was very underrated. I mean, NC State won the freaking national championship over UCLA. Well, they beat UCLA, the legends. And, man, this was huge. Tom Burleson was drafted by Seattle, third overall in the NBA draft. So that's good to say that. you got to give college basketball some love and all that. Hopefully the Christian Leitner shot is one of the best ones I can find and do it on this day. But we can all hope. I'm Jeff Diamond. I'll do.